Hello and welcome to Professor Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build filters for WooCommerce website. For example, these shipping, price, colors, style, or in my case, I have uh, phones on my website. So uh, this is just an example, but um, in the phone, we can add price range, the colors, and the category. Let me open an, in a new tab. And you can see I have these custom attributes. So uh, let me first translate this into English. And let's see. Because it's in a Swedish language. So let's translate in English. And uh, you can see there is color, uh, RAM, storage, grade and warranty. All these uh, custom attributes are also the variations and I'll add these um, filters in the sidebar here. So first uh, let's go to the customize and as you can see this is a full width template right now. So we will first change it to the sidebar and let's see yeah, this one, this is left sidebar. So you can see this empty space, our sidebar or our filter will go there. Okay. Uh, let reduce the columns to three or let's just keep it four. I guess uh, four will be good enough. Okay. Uh, let's go to widgets, go back and click on widgets. Click on WooCommerce sidebar. Okay. Uh, first, let's publish. So we have the right sidebar active. Now search for filters. We have filter by rating, active filter, and attribute filter. So first, we will add the price filter because that is a separate widget. We have the upper limit and the lower limit and let's change the title. Let's see if we change the price, the upper limit to something smaller. Oh, it's, it's too small. Uh, let's increase it to 1300 and here are 55 products listed. Okay, now add another widget which will be attribute filter because uh, we have color in attribute filter. Let's choose the color. This is a uh, color in Sweden and type in the title. Oh, okay. This is not the title. Uh, title is on the top double click on title and change it to colors or just color and change the price filter to price only now add the attribute filter again or oh, ram is not the filter it's attribute product by attribute filter by attribute sorry uh, and change the title to RAM and choose RAM. Similarly, add another one and search for filter by attribute again. Change the title to the uh, next filter, which will be storage or warranty. Uh, no, let's let's do warranty. Double click and change it to warranty. and click on done add another one uh, we will also have the storage double click on the title and change it to rom or rom slash storage click on done and finally we will have the dual sim option which is sim and change the title to 
tool same option same slots okay and click on done now let's publish it and check if it is working or not so if you come to the front page refresh the page the shop page and let's first check the price filter all these attributes are here let's check the price filter we have 73 products within this price range and if we reduce further we have 64 products and if we change the lower limit this will also change to 26 products okay now uh, we will try some other attributes within this price range for example let's check uh, green only 11 products in green filter uh, in this price range for green ram for 8 gb ram and for 8 gb we have only four products with all the uh, upper color and price filters and rom storage as well so uh, this is how it looks like and uh, this is how filters work uh, these are the filters on the sidebar and on the shop if you have uh, another template for shop you can easily add these filters to that one so uh, please give this a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos thank you